let us understand what is an annuity what do we mean by an annuity annuity represents a series of equal payments or receipts occurring over a specified number of equidistant period now every word here has a meaning the first word which you should pay attention to is called series where it says annuity is a series annuity is a series series means it is not single cash flow it's a multiple cash flow of equal payments or receipts that means each payment should be equal occurring over a specified number the number is specified and it is equidistant the time gap between any two payments or received is same so if it is a multiple cash flow which is equal which is specific in number and time gap between two payments is same only that cash flow would be called an annuity suppose i say i'll give you 10000 rupees a year for next 10 years so it is not single cash flow it's a multiple cash flow i'll be giving you 10 times each of the payment is 10000 which is equal the number is fixed 10 and the time gap between any two payments is one year such a cash flow is called annuity right i hope annuity is clear to all of you now what are the examples sip yeah so all your sips loan payments emis all of them are all of them are annuities student loan payment car loan payments insurance premiums right retirement saving methods like sips yeah. pensions all of them are annuities and these annuities can be of five types what are those five types and how do they differ from each other these are the five types of annuities ordinary annuity annuity due annuity in perpetuity deferred annuity and growing annuity so let's first talk about an ordinary annuity now i say annuities is a series of payment not depending on when the first payment occurs we can have two types of annuity ordinary annuity and annuity due and let's see what's the difference between the two so i say i pay you 10000 rupees for 5 years so am i making the first payment at the beginning of the first year or am i making it at the end of the first year if i am making it at the beginning it is annuity due and if i am making it at the end it is ordinary annuity right so number of payment remains 5 in both cases so 1 sorry 2 3 4 5 here also 1 2 3 sorry 4 5 both the cases number of payment is 5 but when is the first payment occurring that decides whether it's an ordinary annuity or annuity due this is an annuity due this is an ordinary annuity so generally payment starts after one time period if it's an annual payment annual annuity the time gap is annual it would start after one year if it is a quarterly annuity it would start after 3 months if it's a monthly annuity it would start after one month so depending on what's the frequency of the annuity the time gap occurs suppose it's a it's a annual annuity which starts after one month so then it's not an annuity 
in true sense although in some ways we can still call it enmity because i would say the it, it begins after one month right but suppose this one payment is missing in between now it's not an enmity at all because the time gap is not equal right so depending on when the first payment occurs we can find out whether it's an enmity due or an ordinary enmity and see the difference between these two enmities is every payment is delayed by one month in the below figure but will it make a difference in the future value of these enmities yes if after 5 years i have to calculate money in both the enmities here the money would remain one time period more then this so this one would give me a higher figure than ordinary enmity because if the rate of return is say 5% so this would have 5% which is growing for at least 5 years this is only 4 years are, are you understanding the difference the difference between enmity due would lead to higher amounts in future than ordinary enmity because money stays longer in an enmity due than an ordinary enmity reach out today and let's do it professionally